What are the best practices for two businesses overlapping teams, but not identical and content that has to be shared between both businesses? Look, if you can get away with it, put them both in one workspace account. If you've got one team managing multiple businesses, put them both in one workspace account. The only downside is if those businesses need to be broken up, you're gonna have to do a migration. Expensive, a little bit time consuming, reasonably priced if you work with us, but definitely you know, time consuming. Hey, if you're happy to do that in five years or 10 years, if you sell one of the businesses, that's fine. If you have business partners in there that you don't necessarily wanna have access to everything across the board, accidentally somehow get access across the board, probably stick to one. You're gonna have some you know, weird things happen like you know, each year is going to have to pick one primary domain that they work with and you can only send calendar events from the primary domain of that individual user so that is a bit of a challenge if you've got one user or one human that's working across multiple mailboxes multiple email addresses they need to manage if you need them to be able to send calendar invites from each bespoke individual email address well that solution is not going to work so in that case you might want to have them separate but in most cases, if you don't have business partners, if your team are 80 or 90% working on the same two brands and you don't mind the cost and the effort of potentially demerging them or separating them in the future, one Google Workspace account is gonna save you a hell of a lot of money, especially if you've got 10 users, you know, with uh, users being able to share aliases and share email addresses. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.